It's got brown hair. <sighs> I need a workbench. So today we're gonna start making one. I'm not gonna make it here, I'm just clearing the van. Hey buddy. Morena. I got a coffee for you. Thank you. I need it. <laughs> this one's been keeping me up. <laughs> so here we are at Cameron's. This is the original design, but I know you want to tweak it to your height, right? That's right. Put your hand down. Yeah, bro. Nine. 940 is your perfect height. All right, just for reference, I'm, I don't know, just over six feet tall, I think. I don't measure myself very often. So <laughs> I'm, I'm making mine a little bit higher uh, than other people. The only downside is it can't be an outfeed table for a table saw. So, hey. And you don't want that? Uh, no. Because I've already built it and it's really cumbersome. But yeah, he, he's actually got a pretty good plan. So it's like... Yeah. Uh, 19 I think. 19 mil for the top. Uh, these sides, uh, 12 mil. It's going to be 1 meter by 18. One, yeah, 1 meter by 1800, but I just want to cut this off so I have a clean edge. So that's your bench. That's the bench right there. <laughs> oh, nice. That's the size of your bench, bro. All right. So we're almost done cutting all the main pieces. And uh, next up, we drill the holes. And the holes on the side. We've got our assistant here helping with the materials. <laughs> Future builder in the making. Those familiar with the pork workbench will know all about the holes on the top. That's what we're going to start drilling. And they're for a combination of things, but the way Cam uses them and the way I'm going to use them is basically just points that clamps can go into. So you chuck something in the middle of the bench and then you can drop a clamp into the hole and Clamp it to the bench. What the hell is that, bro? It's a T-square, <laughs> but a adjustable one. Yeah. Wow. Should we go on a self-directed tour of the workshop, shall we? Cameron's uh, Japanese hand saws up here. Oh, come on. And then there's uh, clamps. I like this uh, shelf system you have here. With all my chargers. Oh man, this Milwaukee charger kit is, it's really big. Oh yep, the Festool sanding collection, I see. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got the big Makita table saw. Who gave it to you? Uh, one of my clients. And then you come over here and you got the Milwaukee packout system, as well as the Festool tower. And the Hilti, and another Hilti tripod thingy. What else is in here? Oh my God. What a beauty. Whoa. This, oh my god, that's so heavy. Oh yeah, that shooting plane is crazy heavy. I want to put it down, I don't want to drop that. Oh, you got the uh, Philip Marku as well. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Max. I'm not surprised, to be honest. I'm not. And now, we drill 180 holes. You can see our miscalculations here. 
<laughs> we started measuring from one side and then a couple of mil off and it just creeps out so we corrected that and the good thing here is we're only using the holes for clamping that's it I know the festal tables and uh, this rotten pork table is designed to be uh, a system um, where you can do square cuts, angle cuts, uh, just by using the different holes. But uh, we're not using it for that, so it's a modified workbench. I'm about to pollute Cameron's tool collection. Oh god. Sorry Cameron. <laughs> My hand feels weird already. The moment we've been waiting for, guys, the assembly. for a strength test. Yeah, a big strength test coming up. <laughs> Alrighty, Bubba. Let's go. Ah. Woo! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a big smile. <laughs> Don't worry, Papa's got you. Papa's done. Alright, happy with that. It's looking good. Feels good. 